Welcome back. The game keeps locking up when I try to put uh, my carbon copy down on the bench. This time I'm gonna wait until uh, he returns. Hopefully that uh, will fix the problem. If you put it down before he comes, he'll say that you have a visitor. <laughs> This is some very fine food, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find something you said last time. Okay, let's try that now. Thank you. Then we can get into the cart. It's really bright to make somebody with eyesight that bad. The Chief of Security. Nice work. Sometimes you actually surprise me. There's another cell here. We've seen her some kind of monster in there. Inside this cell is the creature from the Ego. A bizarre invisible monster caught on Rialto 4. It's violent, brutal, bloodthirsty. And is a sucker for insincere flattery. What are these numbers? This is the Brig area, where transgressors are placed for punishment and supposedly rehabilitation. In order to strike fear into the hearts of evildoers, the cells are labeled 105 and 106. Actually, these are the only two cells aboard the ship. But the subtlety is usually lost on these intergalactic criminal types. As you would expect. I'm gonna try setting this guy free. I'm sure that's a bright idea. Now there's a real bright idea, but then perhaps you deserve the consequences. If the force field were turned off, you'd be the only one to suffer the consequences. In the event that someone might be looking over your shoulder, we'll save your embarrassment for another time. But I want to see it! Game over, man! Game over! <laughs> Being a good Samaritan is one thing, but you should have been just a little skeptical about that move. Well, I was. I just wanted to see it. <laughs> All right. Enough mucking about. The uh, problem, however, remains of the uh, security guards in the shuttle bay. Unless maybe the uh, the one guy we uh, knocked out is still gone, which at least would reduce our problem. So far I've been using the arrow keys here, you can also use the numbers. Like that. Let's see uh, what happened. Nope, they're both back. Damn it. Something tells me this vulgar nerf pinch thing is not gonna work on the big guy. I really don't think that's a good idea. He's not the touchy feely type. But we have a donut. Maybe we can bribe him with the donut. That's an interesting idea. Not a good one, but interesting nonetheless. Or just put it on the pile. Yep. We gave him a donut. He's not eating it. I guess so you can take it back. That's delight. No. That's del You can't take it back. Not very helpful to give him a donut. Because we need to do something with the donut first. Fortunately, there is a spare donut in the brick. Hey, 
Hey, now we ate it. Or at least it's gone. <laughs> I think some of these fade-ins are slower than they're supposed to be on uh, under DOS box. Not that you'd have any hope of playing this normally on a modern computer, because it does have some timing issues. I know it's uh, likely to freeze after you scan the uh, data card you got from the DNA analyzer if you uh, run it on a computer that's too fast. So what can we do with the donut to make it a little less appetizing? Well, it just so happens that we have a syringe of morphine. I'm sure that's uh, something that would be strong enough to take even that big guy out, so let's poison the donut. Good thinking. And now we No, you Oh. Now we give it to him. Oh, now wait until he eats it. This ought to be interesting. Weirder and weirder. Was that a parody of Elton John playing the theme song from King's Quest VI? Sure looked like it. Well, he's out. Now to take care of his friend. Which we do the same way as before. Fortunately, he doesn't, uh... Ooh, grab us. boy, I got you with my fingers in your Kurt Russell. No, you can't get him while I got you now that you've got a card to believe this is a real job. Oh, my God. So, how come you're not going down? I got you with your mumble jumbo and your hobbit chili. Oh, boy, I... Uh... If I only could, I would. Jeez, if you, why don't you step outside, pal? I got you with this, and uh, mm, I think I broke a fingernail here. Smooth move. You've got his keyring. Sweet. It's a key with a little button thingy attached to it. Interesting that we got his keyring, even though this door does not have any keyhole, so it must be for something else then. My, this guy would give Sybil a run for her money. Sybil? That's an incapacitated security guard. I think it's time to spend a lot less time leisurely touring and a lot more time trying to get your can out of this place. Quite. Well, it seems there's two buttons on the door that you actually need to press simultaneously. It's one of two buttons you must push simultaneously to open the shuttle bay door. So let's uh, try that. Hmm. We need something that's long to extend our reach, and we don't have anything right now, so let's check out some other areas of the ship to see if we can't find any such uh, thing. We haven't seen anything that would qualify for that so far, but there uh, is at least one area we haven't 
visited yet, namely eight rear. I think that's the only area we haven't visited yet. And I'm right. Eight rear, obviously a play on ten forward, is the recreation area of the ship. And we've seen it before, actually, in the introduction. But we have not yet visited it during gameplay. There we go. This is Eight Rear, the ship's lounge. Here crew members come to relax, drink, eat, converse, party, hit on each other, brawl, hurl, pass out, and intrude on each other's personal space. Sounds like a night out. Interesting looking types here. An unusual plant specimen that someone left behind, it appears to be thriving here. Perhaps it prefers beer and popcorn to fertilizer and you grow it lamps. I guess. This view screen lets eight rear patrons watch the subspace transmissions of Major League Hairball games, Monday Night Bunion Ball, and the occasional pay-per-view Orat fights. It's your old non-organic friend, Circuit Sydney. Sort of a data stand-in. Apparently he's our friend. They've got floating tables here. Fancy. The anti-grav tables are specially designed to compensate for the ship's motions, minimizing drink spills while under enemy attack. Now you can drink an alien secretion during a hull breach and still not spill a drop. Yes, your eyeballs will implode within 2.3 seconds, but if and when you make it back from sickbay, your drink will still be there waiting for you. Looks like they've got their priorities straight. And we thought the Elvis 1987 poster in our office was tasteless. What is it with the Elvis references in this game? And we thought the El oh. Eating burgers or something, I think. A peaceful panorama of light, color, and limitless black space drifts quietly by the window. The infinite flow and ebb of matter and energy dancing around itself in a never-ending light show of creation. Poetic. I want to see something blow up! <laughs> Roger voices everyone's thoughts. Two scientific dudes stand by the back window, talking stars. It's hard to say anything sarcastic about them, since stargazers are inherently cool. I've always thought so. Hmm, well, we'll see if there's anything useful in this place in the next video.